What's up guys? Welcome back to Bay and Beyond Fishing. It is Friday. I just got off work. And even though the forecast said rain for the rest of the week, it looks pretty uh, clear. Anyways, uh, out here at a local pond that's uh, pretty good bass fishing. And yeah, I've just been really into the whole bass fishing thing. Uh, the only thing is from where I live there's not really any good spots to bass fish uh, unless you're talking Lake Merced <laughs> maybe right uh, I know some of the uh, OGs go there and catch and keep and eat those I don't know how I feel about that but uh, anyways there's a big trail here and uh, we're about 10 minutes out so it's a 10 minute walk until we hit the lake Alright, anyways, um, let's see, and hopefully I can catch on some bass for you guys. Alright, see you then. Alright, just uh, trying to set up while I walk here. A little tough, but you know, I'm so excited that I think I'd save some time. Ooh, do not drop you down there. And actually, let me just check the GPS to make sure I'm going in the right direction. And I am, I'll be there in no time. Let's start off with five inch watermelon Senko. So I don't know what the water clarity is like down there, but uh, this color seems to work pretty well in general for a lot of type of conditions if it's any muddier I think I do have something a little darker but hopefully this will work and this is the way you do it put the head through once you hit that part once you hit the bend you bring it all the way through bring it up there twist it bury the hood I uh, bury the hook head and you want to make sure that it's going to be like that, right? So it's going to come in right there. So you got a nice and straight presentation just like that. All right. Now just to get to the lake. Look at that. There are like cows and stuff here. see if I could loosen up the brakes a little bit and then cast it way out there. Oh, there goes a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, yes, baby. No. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Oh, what a tease. What a cock tease. Okay, there. I saw the line running too. Dang. Ridiculous. I spooked it. It's probably a small one. There you go, I'll throw it at the same spot. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Let's go. Concentrate. There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh! Am I, am I still on? Oh shit, there is. Or is that just stuck? Oh my god, that was a freaking big bite, dude. Gosh dang it. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah? Yeah. No, okay. 
I'm gonna let him take it. He was on it. Dang it. There's another one. There's another one. I'm gonna let him take it, dude. There you go, finally, finally, hell yeah. Yeah, you can't set the hook with these guys. They're not super aggressive, so you just gotta, you just gotta let them kind of hook themselves up, you know? Oh, look, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I think it's just gonna come off. I think all of them are like this. That's a decent one, dude, for out here. This is just in my backyard. This is what, like a pound? Finally, on one. Dang, this is hella muddy. Hella muddy, I'm gonna just let him go like right here. There he goes. There he goes. He's fine. All right, let's keep getting. There you go. Should still be good. There you go. Not bad. All right, come on. Let's find him. Maybe I've exhausted this area already. Maybe I should switch Sankos. This one's a little tore up, but the presentation is still pretty good, actually. All right, I'll try a little bit more. If I don't get any bites, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go for one more fish, and I will be happy with that. Let's see. We can definitely try all the spots I can from back there but I don't think we gave this area a full scan oh <laughs> immediately come on take it take it take it it's still on it it's still on it it's still on it it's a small one but yeah it's nibbling it's a small one I'm not even gonna try to set the hook on that I'm just gonna it's off. It's got spooked or something. No way. Oh, it's still... No. Oh, that's grass. Dang it. That would have been my last fish right there. Yeah, I think all those bites that I kept missing earlier was just basically tiny fish. I'm probably just nipping at the tail, you know? Yeah, anyways, on the, uh, at that last bite, you, you saw how I literally just casted it. It touched the water and it started biting immediately. So if you get it right next to their face, they are instinctively going to just chomp on that. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. There you go. There you go. That's a small one. That's a small one. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. I'm gonna land it right here. I'm gonna land it right here. All right. <clears throat> Good hook set, dude. Look at that. Okay, guy. You're free to go. I just do not make this hard on yourself. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. That's a really good hook set right there. It was barely hooked. Got his cheek a little bit. Nice fish. A little quarter pounder, three quarter pounder. Here's the release. Can't really frame that well with. Nope, wrong way, wrong way.
Alright guys, so this is the outro just in time because my uh, SD card on my GoPro just started, it filled up. Uh, that was it. I caught two. One was a pretty decent size. I mean for this little pond, I was surprised that, um, you know, I was able to catch something like that. Uh, it was just on a Senko that I think it was a watermelon actually. This is a different one. This is green pumpkin maybe. I got this Daiwa Tatula on 20 pound braid on a Mojo Bass medium heavy. Uh, yeah, links in the description below. But anyways, that was fun. Uh, you know, nothing like somewhere close uh, where you can catch bass just to get on that bite. All right, well, this is it. And I am, uh oh, I am facing some, some cows. You guys are kind of cute. But don't hurt me. You guys are huge. Oh my god, you guys are huge. Hi. Alright guys, well anyways, that was a little, uh, I know cows are friendly, but I mean just how huge they are, uh, you know, you never know with animals. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.